Undercover Carson, secret agent. Operation Death Ray, an assignment in Rio. With the faithful Angelos, Giles Davenport's servant, I'd found the first of our missing scientists. He was living in a semi-barbarous state deep in the Brazilian jungle, where not the least of the perils was the piranha, the tiny man-eating fish. But we weren't alone. Hetty Fitzhenry, the red-headed American bird painter, had decided to follow us. At first, she was a charming inconvenience. Now it seemed that she was a deadly menace. The scientist, Dr. Diaz, had turned out to be crazy. What information he had on the death ray had been handed over to a mysterious person called Chaco. Who was this Chaco? From what Angela had discovered, we weren't the only people trying to find the answer. Senor Carson, to me it is beyond question. The heart of the Senorita is blacker than this forest night. Mm, hard to imagine, Angela. Ah, Senor, you soften towards her because she professes to share the same interests. Yeah, does more than profess, old chap. She can paint birds. Seen the results. But why does she make these pictures? She makes them in order that she might bribe the people of the village of Mamarosa. Senor, all along have our efforts not been watched and hindered by others who seek the same dread secret? Mm, in fact, mm, have no doubts, therefore. In a tent, but a few yards away, lies the Senorita. She's our enemy. She makes herself out to be light-hearted and anxious to engage your romantic interest. <laughs> Her intentions are otherwise. Already she attempts to discover something of this person, Chaco. You certain about that, Angela? To what other answer is it possible to arrive? I must tread warily, you know. Has this woman with the fiery hair and the eyes as bright as the wings of the green butterfly bewitched you, Senor? Oh, steady, old chap. Believe me, she is as deadly as a female piranha. But did the uh, Mamoreza villagers tell you she'd been after something about Chaco? Senor. I discovered that the peons in the entourage of the Senorita have approached the Mamarosa villages for the purposes of bribery. They are using these these eye-catching pictures of birds. Is that all? Is that not enough? Mm, perhaps. Say no, if... Uh, easy, old chap. Still seems to me we haven't quite proved the reason behind the bribery. Surely, say no, as I attempted to point out, that at once answers itself. Mm, Howsoever, shade of doubt remains. It would appear, say no, that we are seeking some... Some excuse for this treachery of the senorita. Oh, no, I hate to think of Hetty in the row. Just want to get a clear picture. No more argument. I trust not. But your mission, old chap. To what are you alluding? Earlier tonight, you went out to the village. See if you could ferret out anything on this Chaco character. Ah, senor, when I learn of the secret activities of the senorita, I hasten at once to return. I see. I trust I have not displeased you in this matter? Oh, contrary. Done a very fine job. Oh. Many thanks, Senor. But um, if the irrepressible Miss Fitzhenry is after something on this checker, we must beat her to it. Ah, ah we come to sensible terms at last. Well, rather late, there, for anything further tonight. In the morning, you do whatever possible to bribe something out of Mama Rosa Villages. Indeed, Senor. Meanwhile, I'll chat to uh, Dr. Diaz again. But he is soft in the air. He recalls nothing of the past. He lies in the gloom of that heart, his mind consumed with the, with the wild notions. Mm, true, but he might yet drop a clue. Very well, Senor. But now for the final act of the day. What blazes have you got there? A friend, Senor. A small friend who has done me many a good service in the past. Nice. Indeed. So, well, well, what are you... The Senorita. Now, steady there. Nothing like that, old chap. She is an enemy. We must dispose of her. <laughs> yeah, see, now what Sir Giles meant when he warned me you were a murderous fellow. But no, we'll watch her, Angelo. And if she's working against us in this search, then tomorrow we steal a march. Now, let's into our hammocks. A good friend, Angelo, but a heartless enemy. Any harm to Hetty was out of the question. Not only because I abhor the destruction of anything beautiful, but also because she might furnish us with valuable information. If she was working for another power, and there were several against us, then I was anxious to know which one. Yet next morning it was almost impossible to suspect. Though Angela was coldly watching every graceful move she made, listening to every word that fell from her full, warmly shaped lips. 
I certainly didn't expect to see you up so early, Bruce. Mm, how's that? <laughs> that staccato talk. <laughs> it gets me in. But what, for Pete's sake, makes you carry on that way? Mm, pipe. Pipe. Sure. Yeah, having one in mouth most of the time. But, um... Why is surprised seeing me up? Well, last night you didn't seem like you were ever going to bed. Keep you awake? Oh, shucks, no, I dozed off. You sleep well? The sleep of the innocent, like a top. It's this jungle, Bruce. It agrees with me. It does, eh? Mm-hmm. But it's stirring that primitive streak that I inherited from Granddad Fitzhenry. And don't you forget this, Bruce. I'm stalking a man. <laughs> yeah, rather thought you were, uh painting birds. And I thought you were on a bird-watching expedition. True, but uh, arrangements are not in hand yet. The negotiations are getting mighty long drawn out, honey. Just what gives in that village? Uh, how do you mean? Oh, I just can't figure it out. Do you need to get special permission or something there? Oh, no, no, no. Just, uh, just information. But uh, this is a remote spot, you know. Time doesn't mean much. Mm, I guess you know what you're doing. And don't go falling for the notion that I'm not happy about things. As long as I've got you around, Bruce, honey, I'm downright content. Well, we should be making a move later in the day, but uh, I'm afraid I'll have to leave you for a while. Huh? Oh, oh, I get it. Man Friday standing by again. So, between us this morning, we hope to finalise the information we're after. <laughs> All set for the village, Angela? Si, senor. But I care not to leave this senorita alone. Now, she'll have her entourage standing uh, by. Indeed, and she will be free to make further plans against us. Um, risk we must take. House of Ever, still hard to imagine her in the role. <laughs> she is most clever. She even speaks of sleeping the slumber of one who is innocent. Oh, you saw her, old chap. Looks as if she slept well. A snake also sleeps well, senor. Well, won't make an issue of it at this stage. Let's go. You try the villagers, I'll try Dr. Diaz. Chaco? Chaco? Why should I know anything about Chaco? It was from you, Doctor, that I first heard it. He's some sort of scientist. There is only one scientist. Diaz. The rest there push nothing. Even Chaco. I must know this, Doctor. Chaco. Was he one of the scientists working on the death ray project? Death ray? Sir. Six of you survived trip from Europe, worked on various aspects of it. Young men, famous to speak of a, a death ray. Because my country must know the secret before anyone else. It seems this Chaco got what information you possessed. But who is he? Where is he? I do not care to, to discuss any aspect whatsoever of the death ray. Why not? Because it is obsolete. Out, outdated. <sighs> the world's not yet aware. The world will know soon enough. It will know when I choose to spring my new weapon of any peoples. They have told you something of it, perhaps. Yes, you have, Doctor. You intend crossbreeding the piranha with the flying fish. A, a delicate business, you understand? Oh, naturally, I'll tell. But I have the plans. At my bidding, great swarms of these creatures will be set loose. <laughs> Chaco will be crazy with jealousy when he hears of this, will he not? <laughs> mm, wouldn't know, Chen. But uh, perhaps I could tell him. See how he reacts. Pa pass the news on to Chaco. Eh, Chaco. This, this so-called scientist. But there is only one scientist, Diaz. Only one scientist in the entire world. Then who is Chaco? Chaco. Eh, Chaco. Eh, you know if no one called Chaco. <sighs> Mine's wandering again, poor Chaco. Eh. The world has known but one scientist. Yes. Where's the time? Let's see what Angela has discovered. Senor Carson, oh, the mood of the village is much changed. Huh? How so? Oh, from what cause, I am unable to tell. I thought we were almost blood brothers. No longer. Once again, they reach for their weapons. Oh, bad show. But... But you have the pipe with you? Mm, usual selection. I, I refer to the one that delighted the villagers formerly and won them over. Oh, Swiss job with a musical box. Ah, si, si. Mm, brought it along, just in case. Yeah. Ah, very good, Senor. Very good. Now, hold it in your mouth and uh -huh. permit it to play once more. Oh, whatever you say. 
Can't have arrows flying, Carson Woods, but uh, what progress is yourself? Nothing, Signor, nothing. Mm, same boat, huh? I discovered a change of mood. That is most important. So, if you please, Signor. No, don't worry. Get it going pronto, like so. <laughs> excellent, excellent. You think it will restore peace and goodwill? It is my strongest wish. Let the pipe cast its magic spell once again. Uh, for the moment, I will leave you. This time, I believe I will discover much. So, Angelo left me outside the gloomy hut where little Dr. Diaz eked out his fevered days and nights. Angelo had something in mind. But the musical box had to be rewound three or four times before he appeared again. This time he wasn't alone. He had his knife drawn and he was prodding along a cowering Indian. Ha <laughs> ha! The pipe has worked its magic as I desired, Senor. The villages of Mamarosa are our friends once again. Uh, pleased to get some results for such jaw breaking exercise. However, what are you doing? Trying to ruin everything? Ruin, Senor? Knife or tap seems to have someone worried. Ah, ha, ha, you refer to this, this insect I now prod. <coughs> uh, man is not Have no fear, Senor. This son of darkness is not of the village. Then, uh, He's from the retinue of the Senorita. Of course. And you will observe that he clutches something of interest in his hand. Huh? What's that? A picture of a bird. Oh, yes. Hand it to the Senor, you child of nothing. <coughs> Easy, I'll say that. Easy. <coughs> I'm too gentle. But the picture, Senor? Yeah, attractive enough. Now, there is little doubt from whose hand it comes. Scarcely. Then perhaps, Senor, we might ask the Senorita in what manner or for what purpose it happens to be in the, the trembling hands of this worm. Yes, quite an idea. Hmm. <laughs> I thought you might fall in with my thoughts this time, Senor. Mm, of course, we'll uh, act uh, innocent. Oh, see, see, indeed, uh, most. Uh, since we aren't finding out much about this checker, I might as well establish the uh, status of Miss Hetty Fitzhenry. What was this fellow doing sneaking into the village with one of her bird paintings? That is the question. We couldn't get much out of Angelo's captive, despite the tip of that knife. But we'd have to get something from Hetty Fitzhenry. And it would need to be something out of the ordinary to convince us she wasn't a treacherous opponent in Operation Death Ray. Death Ray. 